So that was back in the early days of raw fooding. And one day I was over at my cousin's house and we were doing like, you know, massive amounts of vegetables. It was like 60 ounces of vegetable juice a day. Has anybody ever done that? Oh, yeah. Music blasting, you know, really high, it's higher than high. And uh, then my cousin throws in an entire bulb, like the whole thing, <laughs> garlic. <laughs> then another one, <laughs> like 40 cloves of garlic. <laughs> So, you know, I'm drinking it, and I'm like, and I'm like, uh-oh. And this is like the day I was supposed to have a date with this girl. And things were going good. I mean, you know, we went to see movies together. We we're kind of, you know, things are getting good. And then I got to be there at like 7, and this is like 2 in the afternoon. By four, it's coming out of my pores, it's coming out of my mouth, it's coming out of my hair. I'm, I'm in the shower three times, like scrubbing, shave my armpits, doesn't work. <laughs> Used every essential oil, everything you think of, didn't do a thing for my breath. I'm like, so then I started using the unnatural stuff, Listerine, Scope, all of it, gargling with it, nothing. <laughs> So I'm like, oh god, I gotta go over there. So I'm, so I, you know, I figure, okay, I'll just, you know, keep my distance, something. So I get over there, I knock on the door, and I'm like, yeah, hi, how you doing? Step back. I get in there, I'm like on the other side of the kitchen, you know, evading her over here, kind of going over here. Next thing, you know, she's like, hey, let's watch a movie. I got a movie up in my room. I'm like, uh-oh, because I thought maybe in the living room I could be on the other side of the couch or something. And they're like, oh, my God, my, my cousin's got to be, I got to be back over there. So she kind of like cornered me. And then we started kissing. And she's like, you know, your breath is really, I mean, I don't normally say this kind of thing, but. <laughs> and it just went from bad to worse. I, I left. Well, I did, but she was like, that's so gross. I mean, I was into raw food then, but she wasn't. <laughs> you know, she's like, it's so gross. It's like garlic, and you know, I normally don't speak up, but you know, I'm like really, really disgusted. And, I was like, oh. and that was the end of that. I paid the ultimate price with garlic. So, you know, me and the garlic got her on better terms now, but that's kind of what happens. You know, garlic is that powerful. It drives everybody away. And it drives all those little critters away as well. Garlic, cloves, wormwood, black walnut, the triple treasure, you know, the standard base of the anti-parasite formula. Cloves, walnut hull, black walnut hull, wormwood. The medicinal mushrooms to create the immune system weapons. Reishi, cordyceps, maitake, shiitake, agaricus. Anybody here know about the medicinal mushrooms? They're the most powerful things for your immune system in general because they create all the immune system weapons. So your immune system is looking at those little slugs and going, okay, we're coming in with a heavy artillery, and then all of a sudden you've got 15 different types of T fighter cells taking those things out. And that's how that all fits together. A couple other key herbs are in there. For example, the blue mangosteen combo, taking the mangosteen powder. That has a very powerful affinity to drive out nanobacteria and kill those slugs off. Cat's Claw, Una de Gato from the Amazon. And there's a few others. They're all listed out, but I just want to mention those because I really believe that we have the choice now to go after right at the top stuff and select from that the stuff that we know that works. The third tier is the cleanup crew that comes in and kind of sweeps the whole thing clean. And the major three things there are what I'm going to give you. There's more, but I'm going to give you the major three. Number one is enzymes. We put this product out years ago, Beauty Enzymes. Anybody ever use this product? Woo! That's the stuff. It's a metabolic enzyme and it's a digestive enzyme, both. And it's 100% organic. It's Beauty Enzymes, it's an enzyme combo. It's about 17 different enzymes in one formula. And we and I recommend that one because Vitalzymes, it has titanium dioxide in it. A lot of enzymes use genetically modified maltodextrin, and the people who actually manufacture the enzymes don't know that. That the maltodextrin, when you see maltodextrin as a, as a carrier in a product, it's almost always genetically modified. 
Just to put that out there so you know that. Actually, our enzyme would be the only enzyme that could be certified organic. It's, of course, certified kosher in the whole show. But there is no organic certification for enzymes, so we can't actually put that on there. The metabolic and digestive enzyme, what it does, it's like a cleanup crew. It goes in after there's been the battle. After the shells have all been broken, the immune system's gone in there and fried the jelly blobs, you need a cleanup crew that comes in there and kind of sweeps everything clean. That's the enzyme. Here's another one. Adaptogenic herbs. Mm -hmm. Ginseng, goji berry, ashwagandha, shatavari, tulsi, nettles, rhodiola. These are the herbs that have this ability to kind of help up everything about 10 to 15 percent. Now, 10 to 15 percent, that's probably not that much, but if you think about it, if you live to be 100 and you have 10 to 15 more percent, you're going to be 10, 110, 115. So it's been shown that the adaptogens have this ability. So then there's an adaptogen formula that comes in. And then the third piece is the high vitamin C botanical. The camu camu berry powder, the amla berry powder, the trifla powders, the acerola cherry powders. That's the high vitamin C. And then that's our whole cleanup crew with a few other things that come in later. Omega-3 fatty acid long chain is a big one, by the way. Um, let me digress for a moment. How are we doing? We having the best ever? Is this the best ever? Best day ever. There is one more factor in the cleanup crew that I'm going to put in here. I'm going to interject it in there. It's in the document that you'll receive via email, and that is long chain omega-3 fatty acids. Hemp seed and flax seed is medium chain omega-3 fatty acid. And DHA and EPA, which are really critical for brain chemistry, neurological health, production of a healthy baby, production of the nervous system of a healthy child, the cognition antidepressants. Oh, did I say antidepressant? That's illegal. They told me that. The FDA has told me if you put the word antidepressant on your website, what, you, that equals felony. If you put the word cancer on your website, equals felony. The FDA in our free country. Of course, we vote for them, of course. Do we vote for the FDA? No. Do we vote for the FBI? No. Do we vote for the CIA? No. Did we vote for the stupid war? No. Do we vote for depleted uranium? No. Good thing we can vote in a free country. <laughs> So people have been on my case, krill oil. You ever heard of krill oil? Yes. Right? That's what whales eat. Now people, all the vegetarian mammals eat krill, which is an animal. It's the basis of the whole food chain. They eat the phytoplankton. So I've really been, you know, people come to me and they're really, they need help. I'm, I'm not, I cannot consciously say just because this is, you know, a microscopic animal organism that's more abundant on the earth than ants are. That you can't have it because it's an animal product? I mean, after years of kind of the vegan, vegetarian propaganda, you know you know where the, the holes are. And that one is fills a couple holes. One, it's long-chain EPA, long-chain DHA, and uh, vitamin B12, and fat-soluble antioxidants, and a whole bunch of other things go in there for neurological health. And eye health. Well, phytoplankton came later because we found out in the research that the phytoplankton does have the highest level of DHA and EPA found in any plant by far. So DHA and EPA, now we can get it from the phytoplankton. However, if somebody's really depressed, chemically depressed, if somebody's really fighting out, locking up and chelating out that bacteria, the nanobacteria, the calcium forming particles, off of their nervous system, then they need the real high concentration of oil of the EPA and DHA. And it needs to be both, not just one, because DHA can be concentrated out of algae. But we do need DHA and EPA. What's that? Sammy? Yeah, well, Sammy's all good, and that's all good, but the basis of all depression comes down to two things. You gotta get alkaline, and you gotta get the right of fatty acids in. And then we start seeing people come out of that whole symptomology. By the way, what's alkaline? Vegetables and herbs.